an assistant scoutmaster that was part of our troop about 20 years ago, retired and moved to Florida not long ago. His name was Bill Wood. Before he left, he, uh, he gave us some of his old unused camping gear, some uniform shirts, as I recall, and he left behind this bag of tricks. Bill is a Mendocino firecrafter. What we've got in here is some of his now vintage fire making kit. Let's take a look inside. Well, this is what I found when I looked into Bill's old fire kit. One thing I found was what looks like some tinder bundle material. Looks like some cedar bark and maybe some ruffled up sisal twine. Not a big fan of sisal myself, but I do like cedar bark. I also found what looks to be a hand carved rudimentary spoon. Don't know what it's made of. Don't know if he used it, but there it is. I also found a uh, fireboard and spindle that I believe are made from red cedar. I can see the vein of red wood inside on this side of the fireboard and it still has a light cedar aroma. I'm not 100% about this spindle, but they seem to be made from the same, same materials. I'm, I think these are both red cedar. The stuff that really got my attention though were these pieces. A couple of fireboards, a couple of spindles, a couple of thunderheads. This is all yucca. And I've been wanting to experiment with yucca for quite some time. Looks like Bill made a couple of uh, thunderheads out of some pieces of yucca. And here are two fireboards that he left behind. And there's a couple of spindles. He likes skinny spindles just like I do. This one doesn't seem to have been used at all. This one's gotten a little bit of use. This was the one I've been practicing with recently. I've been hearing people sing the praises of yucca for a long time, but there's only one species of yucca that grows natively in Ohio. I think it's called Adam's Needle. Uh, I've never found it. I've never been able to experiment with it. Never had a chance to work with it at all. So I was excited when uh, I discovered these yucca pieces in Bill's old kit. So I decided that I would uh, play with them a bit, tune his kit up, see if I could make it work and uh, maybe give some comparisons to materials that I can find very easily in southwestern Ohio. So let me get set up a little bit and I'll do a, a quick demo and then I'll follow up with some general thoughts on using yucca and how it might compare to other materials we can find around here. Stay tuned. All right, I've got a yucca fireboard and the spindle I've been playing with. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this stone thunderhead that my friend Mike Finelli gave me a few months ago. It's got some nice fossils in it. And I decided I was going ahead and use my uh, honeysuckle bow with my dogbane cord that I made over the winter. Here goes. Hope this works.
my tender bundle is the inner bark a little bit of inner bark from both a cottonwood tree cottonwood tree limb and a uh, some ash It went out. There we go. <laughs> Not wanting to stay lit. There it goes. <laughs> Let me get out of the way. Well, yucca certainly works. <laughs> All right, stay tuned for some final thoughts. Be right back. <laughs> All right, to, to wrap this one up, I thought I'd share some final thoughts and observations. First and foremost, I'm genuinely grateful that I had the opportunity to bring this vintage firecrafter kit back to life, maybe for the first time in many years. Um, uh, I'm grateful that I was asked to be the caretaker of this kit for a while and uh, to see what I could do with it. I'm also really excited that I got the chance to work with Yucca for the first time. It is indeed easy to work with. Uh, that's the third or fourth ember that I've made with this kit all in this one hole. I didn't want to use too much of the materials, so I've been working in this one divot. And each of the embers came pretty quickly without a whole lot of effort on my part. So that's the good news. I finally got to play with some yucca and I got to bring an old vintage kit back to life. But let me tell you, I don't feel so bad anymore that yucca doesn't grow in my area. The easiest and fastest materials that I'm aware of for making fire by friction includes ironweed spindles or mullen spindles or goldenrod spindles and lightly degraded white pine fireboards. In my neck of the woods, ironweed, mullen, and goldenrod grow in great abundance. And you can find dead pine limbs out in the woods anytime you go hiking. This is the simplest, fastest, easiest material I've ever worked with. Embers come quickly, reliably, with almost no effort. And they are easier than the yucca. The yucca is easier to work with than most woods that I'm familiar with. But it's not easier than the wildflower stalks that I can find right down the road. So I don't feel so bad that I haven't found yucca yet. I'm going to keep looking, of course. I'm going to look for that Adam's Needle yucca and hopefully bring some home with me at some point and make a video about that. Anyhow, that's all for this one. Thanks for watching. See you again next time.